That's right. Okay. So, um, if they don't have my medicine, they're responsible. They already admitted that to the police for losing it, for throwing it away. So they have to replace it. Right. And it's not a matter of having me having to go to the courts to get them to replace it. They need to replace it immediately. Well, I'm talking about your plan right now because it's nighttime. The staff that can actually do that is probably not here. The medicine they've been giving me at the emergency room is not working the same as the medicine that I've been given by the other okay. doctors that I've been taking I, for years. I, under I understand that. My question is, if they don't have your medicine, what is your plan? Because there's nothing that there's it's probably nothing that they can do. I'm cut off from my finances. I don't have a plan. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> So I just want my medicine. That's, I'm not here to argue or, or debate. Right, I'm just yeah, saying okay, they yeah. don't have it. Okay, great. Okay, so here we are. So this gentleman says that he was in the program recently, and uh, when he got discharged from the program, he's missing medication. You said you threw away my medicine. The staff here said they threw it. The, the, the staff that works the desk said they threw away my medicine. That's unacceptable to me. What's your last name, sir? T-E-W-2. T-E-W? Okay. Is there some place you can check to see if you have any medication? Well, I'm going to go up there and check. It's locked away. It's locked away? Yeah. But he's the one that administers medicine, so he should be able to do it. Okay. So you're saying you're medic you left the program. I'm saying that you, not personally you, right, but the, the staff that works here may have, I'm convinced deliberately did it. Okay, I've been going through this for years. This is not the first, did first you time. So I filled out all the paperwork when I came in with Jermaine, okay? And they, this, 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 this man that works here, and I got him on video, took my medicine in a black bag. It was uh, a lot of medicines, four months supply of heart medicine and other medication and told the police we threw it away there were no labels on it well that's a lie i have pictures of that medicine there were labels on it okay so so then after i told him that after i no you couldn't you couldn't have taken the labels off the medicine because it, the medicine wouldn't have had to have been open hold on okay i'm here with the police let's step outside You see why I, did, I asked for an officer to come over here? That's fine, sir. Okay. So eight days I've been without that medicine. Except for a couple of tab, few tablets that I well, somehow reappeared in my bag at the emergency room in a shirt that I pulled off a table from another location in the, on this campus after I had gone through that bag, dumped it out, and there was nothing there. Suddenly a few tablets appear in my bag well that that was put there okay this is the game i've been going through for years it's how they discredit the victim the target i'm a targeted individual that's what i am the day i made that recording i sealed my fate i've already been told i'm you know i just want my medicine and i want to leave this is why i asked you to come over here because this is the game that i go through I was a security contractor for Department of Defense, ITT Industries in Kosovo. After that, after I quit that job because of disgust of what I witnessed and experienced, came back to the States. I shortly after that went to work for FEMA, the Federal Emergency Management Agency, as a contractor, which is one of the last jobs I ever had. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you also recording this call? No. Uh, this, this. Nope. Okay. We're not authorized body cams yet. I've already been set up in a trap by San Diego police. Steps, steps away from the federal courthouse. Mm -hmm. Evidence was stolen from me. Okay. In plain view of the police on surveillance camera with them less than 100 feet away. Mm -hmm. With the police less than 100 feet away, that evidence was stolen before it could be submitted. Okay, so a lawsuit was filed about that, but there's a matter they don't 
I don't care anything about lawsuits. The police did respond and filed a report saying stolen property had happened. A laptop, audio, and video all gone. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't do me any good. I'm a, I'm a couple of blocks away from the federal courthouse. It doesn't do me any good. Right. Then the federal, the, the San Diego police play games with me after their failure to properly investigate my case of stolen evidence before it could be submitted in court. That's just some of the trouble. Even though the police, San Diego police, were less than, what, 100 feet away and everything was caught on surveillance camera, they refused to do anything. They refused to even respond for hours. Finally, they showed up hours later, mm -hmm. said a crime had taken place. Okay. And that stuff had been stolen. But then they refused to investigate that crime. Okay, stay right here. That's not the medication. That's not it. That's not my medicine. Listen, that that's only one portion of the medicine that I gave. Yeah. Let me. Can I see the back? Can I see the back, please? Yeah, that's not acceptable. That's not acceptable. I won't sign for that. Okay. Well, you you want That's not my heart medicine. I'm asking. You can always go go to the VA and get new medicine. Uh, you want to sign for this medicine right now? The medicine they gave me at the VA doesn't work. Huh? The medicine I got at the VA doesn't work. Well, you, where do you get your medicine from? You can always go so, back and get a refill. So get I don't want to get into this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't want to sign. You don't want to sign for it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. This is New Directions. Uh, it's uh, 937 at night on the 4th of August, 2022. Thank you. Bye, sir.